Real Madrid, is there any greater rivalry in world football? I really don't think there is. There is no club game in the world. Zidane to Beckham, trying his luck, David Beckham. That just bounced up awkwardly. And there, Victor. Again, Thiago Mota, young Brazilian. Thinks about the shot, Mota, but it's a little bit high. Yeah, and he, he, to some extent he thought about the shot because the crowd was roaring them on, weren't they, as he burst through and, uh, and got under it quite a lot. Real pain there. Referee trying to give the advantage. It's going with Gabri. Just took a little bit too long, but it's allowed Madrid to regroup. Gabri's done quite well there. They're getting into the area. Gabri can only hit his cross straight at Ica Casilla. Roberto Carlos. Lines it up, Roberto Carlos takes a deflection. On the right hand side. Ronaldo. Oof. Oh, that's, a, that's a clash of heavy rights, isn't it? Ronaldo. No. That will have hurt both of them, although obviously there was no ill intention from either of them. It's just two players giving it everything. Here's Roberto Carlos. To Raul lets it go to Ronaldo. Giovanni. Beckham got in there. Here's Ronaldo. Mota. It's all a bit untidy. Falls to Ronaldo. That looked goalbound, but it bounced off the defence. Ball crossed in again, and Ruf Valdez was flapping it air. Ball goes through to Figo. Good spell of pressure from Real Madrid here. Looks up Luis Figo. Still Madrid on the ball. Beckham to Zidane. A little bit slow there, Elguera. That is wall into order. Well, maybe Motta will fancy his chances tonight. Xavi. And there, Ica Casillas. Great Tipping stuff. that one over. Well, and Ica Casillas and Xavi Hernandez are really, really good friends as well. And uh, Xavi won't thank him for that. It's a really good effort. Ball with David Beckham. Looks up Beckham. It's another long ball back to... The other side to Zidane. Zidane's got Motta ahead of him. Just cuts inside. Zidane back to Roberto Carlos. Let's take an infection. Goal! Well, he hit it well, Roberto Carlos. I think he took a deflection, but it doesn't really matter if you're a Madrid fan because it's Barca nil, Real Madrid won. There was two. Well, it was a fantastic crossfield ball, I think, from Zidane at the very, very start of the move to Beckham. Then Beckham hit a great ball back across when it finally got to him over to Zidane, he led it to Roberto Carlos, and the thing about Roberto Carlos is even when he doesn't hit the ball that accurately, he hits it so hard, and as you say, I think it's a good deflection on the way in. Just looks up there Zidane, Roberto Carlos hits it, and yeah, there's a touch there, I think that is Koku it goes in off. Well, this has got no chance really. Not the power it's going, I mean, the thing is, the fact that the ball is going, so I think if he'd maybe not got the deflection, he'd probably have saved that, Bless but it. at the speed, Roberto Carlos. <laughs> Roberto Carlos. To Zidane, Luis Figo, and wow, it wasn't a bad effort, eh? Fired in there from Mitchell Salgado. He doesn't score many goals, but when he does, he tends to celebrate. Yeah, <laughs> he certainly celebrates. Obviously, it's a throw in. Luis Garcia and Beckham in. Clivert with a turn. Can he do anything here? Clivert, nice flick to Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia drags it wide. Very, very nice play from Patrick Clivert. Just looked like he might have. Might have overrun it with a really, really well to, to Simply because if quality players get the ball for a long time, they're going to do something with it. And I just think Madrid's team at the moment has got that little bit more quality to Barca. And there, Carmona Mendez blowing the half time whistle and a strangely silent camp now staying here. Here is Raul just dropping to the left side of midfield almost. Picking out Zidane and. Ronaldo! I'm not sure Zidane's pass was for Ronaldo. No, I don't think it was, I think, but Ronaldo, being the sort of striker he is, he wants to. Asking for the wall to go back the whole 10 yards. You can see it's once again organising that wall. It's a decent free kick from Xavi, and Carmona Mendes has blown. Going for pushing, I think, from Clivert. I think anyone Clivert's header came back up. Here's Beckham. Oof, not a bad ball at all. Yo, yo, you Raul. 
That was very unlucky there for Ralph because he hit the ball into the ground. He, we were saying in the first half that the pitch looked a bit dry. Oh, I think the you wonder if there'd been a bit more, if there'd been a bit much, a bit more water on that. I wonder if that would have gone in. It's Great cross, cross from Beckham with his left foot. Left foot yeah. Not sure that Raul gets a particularly clean. Here comes Gerard surging forward. That's a good pass to Overmars. He looked to cut inside Overmars. Will he know he's gone on the outside? Left foot, Ica Casillas. Well, he's had two shots to save, and he's responded magnificently on both of them. That's a great save. I just, I, I'm not convinced that it was the right option for Marco Mars to shoot from there, although he produced it. To Beckham. Puyola just ahead of Raul. Time is chip slipping away from Barca. Xavi. Clivert, Ica. Well, he perhaps didn't hold on to it, but he did the important thing. He kept it out, and there Roberto Carlos was on hand to clear it. He hit that very hard, Patrick Clive. I think he's even knocked the wind. Well, he gave it everything there, Roberto Carlos. I should want him to if you were his coach. It's Reisiger. It's a decent cross in there. And once again, Ica Casillas in the right place. because. what you'd expect really to ensure if Barca against yeah, Madrid at their own ground can't react. They've been very, very sure footed with the pass and Madrid very cleanly worked that out of the Nice turn as well from Fugo. She got the pace to get away from Van Bronckhorst. Nobody's found Mitchell Salgado. Salgado with Puyol and Carmona Mendes. What is furious? I think it's the right decision. Maybe just puts him a little bit off balance, doesn't he? Referee had no doubts about it whatsoever. So another chance for one of those two, the deadly duo, to fire in a free kick. Figo's there as well now. And there, Javier Saviola watching. Looking a bit well wrapped up. Yeah. We said it was cold. I think there you have the evidence. The wall, you know, it does sort of look like Roberto Carlos as well. Beckham's asking for that wall to be a bit further back, and um, once again, is that 10 yards? Beckham taking it deflected and over for a corner, but you know, I think Beckham's saying, you know, if that wall, why isn't the wall 10 yards? Because if the wall had been 10 yards, that one was just that shot was <laughs> sends it all the way back to Mitchell Salgado. Once again, the ball bouncing up there on Salgado. Ooh, here's danger, Roberto. Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo. Space for Ronaldo. Ronaldo! It's 2 0 to Real Madrid. 2 0. Ronaldo has gone back to what was once his home ground. And he's probably hammered the second nail into Barca's coffin. I think he has. I think he has. And this is what we're saying. You, with Ronaldo around, you just cannot relax for a minute. And Barca had started to push back in. But Ronaldo, giving that much space and there's only ever going to be one outcome. And that is a goal for Real Madrid. Figo looks up, that's a lovely ball Great inside pass. actually. Roberto Carlos in the right place. And had a lot of looks time up. to see him, didn't it? Looks up, that's a good, I mean actually it's a great goal because it takes another deflection. Mm. Bit unlucky, a bit unlucky Barcelona, but, but Madrid were cool, they carved it out nicely and when Ronaldo oh. gets a chance. <laughs> It's interesting how deep Raul's playing at the moment to try and protect the rest of his defence. Working very, very hard, isn't very he? Very hard. He's dropping. He's dropping into the left-hand side. He's a lot of the time. It's him that's being asked to take take care of Quaresma. Um, he's working very, very hard for the team. I mean, he always does, but he's working. Hard. Full commitment there from the Madrid fullbacks. Conceded a corner, but could have been far worse had that ball gone across the face of goal. Oh, great goal. Well, we said it could have been far worse, but really it couldn't because there Patrick Cliver from absolutely nowhere has bulleted that header into the bottom corner of the net and all of a sudden Madrid have got 
seven minutes where they're going to have their backs to the wall. They certainly are. I mean, and you're right, they did come out. Nowhere. I mean, even the corner didn't look like it was going to get over the first man. Suddenly, Clive was there heading into net. It's a really good header as well. Very, very clean header. But he's, there's four men around him. That's an excellent header. Great header. Um, it's a drilled corner, isn't it, rather than a floated? It's given Barca a little bit of hope, and Madrid have got work to do, and it's just highlighted that it's perhaps been the weakness of this Madrid. So, the camp now for Prouder, all of a sudden on their feet, Ica Casillas, my goodness! How quick was Casillas there, because that could have been the equaliser. That was a superb save. As it is, Karezma carrying on the attack. Gerard. Well, bravo in there. All of a sudden, Barca. Karezma sets up for him, and ooh, that wasn't far away. It wasn't far away at all. Tell you, if, if Madrid do take all three points from this game, there will be three hard-earned points. Oh, they will. And there'll be so much, so much more. There's nothing more frustrating than chasing a, chasing a team and not having the ball. There is Ivan Elguera, and there is Carmona Mendes with the final whistle. So, Real Madrid have ended a desperate 20-year run, and are they happy? I think they are. Final result, Barcelona 1, Real Madrid, Two.